Welcome into Chicago Bears Now. I am Harrison Graham. Different type of video today. I got five players the Bears could consider cutting to save money against the salary cap. Before we get into those play players, let's just get a little background here. Bears currently have about $12.5 million uh, to work with in salary cap money, but yeah, five and a half, six million projected to go toward the 2020 draft picks. So really, the Bears have about six and a half, seven million. That's about where they sit. Six point seven million projected. You know, we'll see what the draft picks end up costing. Shouldn't cost a ton since the Bears don't have a first round pick, but they don't have the full twelve and a half million to work with. You know, in free agency, for example. So let's get into these five players, starting with offensive players. Then we'll get to a couple defensive guys as well. Cordero Patterson. I know you Bears fans love you some Cordero Patterson. The reality is you could save $4.75 million if you cut him with only a $1 million dead cap hit penalty. Where does he fit in this offense? Well, you Bears fans, please tell me how the Bears can utilize him. Like, I agree. They should get him more touches. He's a great kick returner. I, I acknowledge all that. But he's never really been a uh, like this uh, top flight receiver. He's actually played better when he's been a running back uh, in his NFL career. But the Bears didn't use him in either area that much last year. Maybe he competes for your third wide receiver spot this year, but... I don't really know what the plan for him is long term. And I think multiple NFL teams have had trouble figuring out what his value is, where he fits in an NFL offense. The Patriots used him at running back to some effect, but he's not some dominant player that we all want him to be, despite him being a premier athlete. You don't pay premier, premier athletes who are primarily kick returners almost $6 million. You just don't do it. So unless Matt Nagy and the fellows have a bigger plan for him this year, I'd consider cutting him and maybe adding a player elsewhere. So that's Cordero Patterson, my top salary cap cut candidate. What do you guys think? What should Chicago do with Patterson? Type K for keep him, type C for cut him. I would probably cut him, but knowing you guys, I expect to see a lot of Ks in the comments section. I hope you continue to stay safe. And if you want to upgrade or for some reason you don't have a great face mask yet, go to chatsports.com slash bears mask one. You can get these solo ones for just $14.99. Put that link in the comments and in the description, chatsports.com slash bears mask one. Continue to stay safe. Next offensive player here, Charles Leno Jr. <laughs> While I would probably uh, lean toward keeping him at this point, unless you uh, figure out something else at left tackle, I know you guys want to get rid of him. And look, I, I agree to a certain extent. He was bad last year. There's, there's no disputing that. You can save $8 million against the cap if you cut him. Here's the thing, though. If you cut him, you got to go find a left tackle because you don't have anyone on the roster who can be your starting left tackle. As bad as he was last year, Charles Leno Jr. is your best option to be your left tackle right now, unless you go get someone, unless Jason Peters wants to come play for you. Look at the roster. There's not a guy there that can step in and be your left tackle. You're not going to move Massey over there. It's not going to be Jason Spriggs. Jermaine Ifedi isn't going to be your left tackle. Like, it's Leno or a free agent. Like, you're not going to find him from within. One of those seventh-round rookies isn't going to be the option. Yes, there's a couple of players out there. You could maybe try and get Jason Peters at 38 years old to come be your left tackle for a year. Kelvin Beecham sitting out there with some experience. Greg Robinson has 70 starts in his NFL career. Maybe one of these guys is an upgrade, and I would argue for sure Peters is. But, like, you can't just cut Leno and not have a plan. That's, that's the point I'm trying to make. What would you do? Should the Bears cut Charles Leno Jr.? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I'm okay with cutting him, but just know the Bears have to sign someone better. I'll make this the pinned comment on today's video, so go ahead and scroll on down and cast your votes there. One more offensive player here, tight end Adam Shaheen. You guys know how I feel, and if you are watching for the first time, I don't think Shaheen's worth anything. So uh, even though it only saves you just over $1.2 million, I say cut him and save the money because – what is he for you at this point? He's been a bust. He hasn't produced for you. And you brought in Jimmy Graham and Cole Komet. So at best, he's your third tight end. Like, why not save the $1.2 million and have extra cap money or go sign another player? Like, this is what we've seen in three seasons. Less than 300 yards total in three years. Like, he just hasn't panned out. And that's okay. Guys don't pan out. It happens all the time. I don't even think he's a top three guy for me. I think Demetrius Harris is your third tight end. I think these three for sure make the roster. And then Shaheen, along with all the other, you know, bum tight ends on this roster, will compete for that final, you know, fourth tight end spot. If the Bears carry four. 
I don't think Shaheen's any good. I think that's been proven. The Bears can keep hyping him up, saying, oh, we're excited to work with him this year. It just hasn't really worked out, unfortunately, in the end for Chicago. I would cut him and save $1.2 million against the salary cap. If you like what we do here at Chicago Bears Now, or maybe like I mentioned, you're watching for the first time, what we do is we post videos almost every single day. We've got the latest Bears news, got rumors. We do Q&As. Always use hashtag Bears to get your questions on the show. We'll do one of those very, very soon. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the red subscribe button. Share the link below. It's YouTube.com slash Bears Now. Let's continue to grow this channel together. Let's go to the defensive side of the ball. Buster screen, the nickel back. Look, I'm not actively looking to, to, to cut screen because I think he's clearly your best option at nickel this year. But the Bears do have some options, and they have some depth corners they could work with. If they want to save the $3 million and say, hey, if we cut screen someone else, maybe we can go get an offensive lineman, I, you, could, you could talk me into that. It would save you $3 million. He's making $6.1 million. You know, it, it's, it's not like you're, you're saving all $6 million. You're saving about half. So I would probably lean toward keeping him, but it is an option. If, you know, a young player like a Duke Shelley emerges and can take that nickel job, or maybe they want Jalen Johnson to play nickel, then the Bears could afford to uh, cut or even trade Buster Screen. That could be on the table as well for a late day three pick. The Bears have depth players at the cornerback position. I don't think it will happen, but I do think it is a possibility and something that they will explore uh, depending on how training camp goes and if some of these younger players can emerge and if they trust one of these guys to play nickel in 2020. So should the Bears cut Buster Screen? Type 1 for cut him, type 2 for keep him. Let me know what you think. For now, I'm definitely in the keep him range. I'm not saying to cut him, but look, if guys emerge in training camp, want to save $3 million, bucks, want to trade him, boom, trade or cut Buster Screen. For now, though, I'm going to go ahead and type 2. Quick reminder, continue to stay safe out there. You can get one of these Bears face coverings for just $14.99. Chatsports.com slash Bears Mask 1. If we're allowed to go to football games this year, you're going to have to wear a face covering. Why not rep the Bears in style and continue to stay safe? Chatsports.com slash Bears Mask 1. And remember, the link is in the comments and in the description. Last player here, Akeem Hicks. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys are going to see the same thing. Why in the world would the Bears cut Akeem Hicks? He's one of the best players. He's a leader. I know. Here's the problem, though. He's on the wrong side of 30 now. What did not look good when he played last year. Start Injury bug is starting to hit him a little bit, and you can save over $10 bucks if you do this. Now, look, you only consider this if you see him in training camp, you see him in the preseason, and he's severely regressed. Like, like that's the only way you consider cutting Akeem Hicks. I still think the Bears expect him to be a big part of this defense. I still expect him to be a big part of this defense, but I think there's a reasonable chance, and there's evidence when you look at the history of the National Football League, especially his position, and once you turn 30, you lose the production a little bit, especially at rushing the passer. I don't know if Akeem Hicks can be an eight-sack guy again. Maybe he can. I hope he can. I think realistically you're looking for four or five, and then guys like Robert Quinn and Khalil Mack, you know, do most of the damage there. But, look, I, I'm not naive. Akeem Hicks is a big part of this team, and it's not just what he does on the field. He's a leader. He's, you know, one of the vocal guys on this roster, not just on the defense either, for the whole football team. So you would only do this if you just – completely think that his best days are so far behind him that it, you know you just decide it's time to move on that's the ultimate long shot but also at the same time cutting Akeem Hicks can save you the most uh, money against the salary cap and if the Bears what if the Bears wake up tomorrow and they're like hey we want to get Jadavion Clowney the only way you could do that is if you cut Akeem Hicks so I'm not suggesting it I'm just saying it is an option because it'll save you about 10 million dollars against the salary cap this year so I just listed five players. What do you think? Name a player the Bears should cut before this season. Go ahead, let me know. Five players I just outlined. I want to know what you think, though. Feel free to argue with me in the comments. Tell me I'm an idiot for suggesting a key mix. I'm not suggesting it. I'm saying it's simply an option. Quick recap, Cordero Patterson, Charles Leno Jr. Look, Leno, we know what the deal is at left tackle. Like... I don't think he's very good, but right now the Bears don't really have any other options. Patterson, I don't know what his role is on this offense, so we'll see uh, if they consider either of those two players. Adam Shaheen at tight end, you guys know the drill. He sucks. Let's just admit that, was, that draft pick didn't work out and cut him. Buster Screen, I think he's a guy you could trade. I think you could explore a training camp type of trade. You see teams do this all the time where they realize they have extra players at position. Hey, Buster Screen, we appreciate you. We're going to trade you for a sixth-round pick, but you could cut him as well to save the $3 million. Akeem Hicks, again, it's an ultimate long shot in the end. But 
look, if he comes into camp, he doesn't look great, the injury bug is a concern, you could save about $10 million bucks by cutting Akeem Hicks. Those are my Bears salary cut candidates. Again, comment below what you guys think, and let me know who you want the Bears to cut before the 2020 season.